Rash on the Valley's Best Rock, 105.1 The Blaze. So I don't hide the fact that I am a man-child. I still, I still find a lot of joy in the things that I've done pretty much my entire life. Uh, I enjoy my toys, and I especially enjoy my video games. Um, although there's one aspect of gaming that's become just a little too hard for even me to deal with, uh, and that is the, the toxicity that comes with the online gaming community. If you've ever played, especially multiplayer shooter games, like, um, you know, your, your Call of Duty or Battlefield, Halo, things like that, the, the game lobbies are just packed with people saying the most awful things you could imagine. And, and the worst part is the people that say the worst things are often kids. You're getting yelled at by kids, man. How are you supposed to respond when a 10 year old is telling you to do unspeakable things to barnyard animals? Now, now, the developers of these games have realized that this has become a really big problem, uh, and it's turning a lot, of, a lot of fans of these games off. So they've lately started this new positivity project. I'm not sure if you've seen this. This is real. So if you, like, for example, if you buy the new Call of Duty game, when the game starts, it'll bring up a message and basically like a, a PSA about how they're trying to change the gaming environment and, and they're creating a positive place for people to play. But uh, I, think, I think they probably still have a lot of work to be done. Now, we got a hold of... Uh, of one of the PSAs they're using to try to push this positivity project. See for yourself. Do you like to play games online, but are sick of being called awful names by fifth graders? I have a wife. You're a f***ing get bullied at school. <laughs> you know you talk like that? His mother doesn't know he talks like that because she's in prison. Online gaming used to be an easy way to hang out with some friends without having to leave your house or, you know, put on pants. But thanks to disinterested parents everywhere that would rather keep their kids occupied with violence than spend 10 seconds trying to, you know, talk to them. <laughs> Yuck. The online community has become, well, this. Your mom should have spit you in a trash can because you're a trash can. Until now, thanks to the online community's new positivity project, being told to do unspeakable things to a llama by a 10-year-old is a thing of the past. You're an adult, legally anyway, and you shouldn't have to be verbally assaulted by tweens with rage issues just because you don't know how to revive dying teammates. Hey! Revive me! Revive me before they kill me! Before they kill me! Revive! It, it's the X button, by the way. Just you just walk over to me and, and push the X button. It's it's not hard, just just push hold the X button. Oh my god, you filthy piece of the god! <clears throat> the online positivity project. We're still working on it. Make a rash decision every morning. If you like that bit, don't miss the show weekday mornings from 6 to 10. And if you didn't, we'll, we'll try harder next time. Oh, also, like, follow, subscribe. You know the deal. Rash. Because someone has got to bring order to the chaotic mess that we call life.